AI is also going multi gear. With this weekly reset, the legacy loot system has been included to all the Legion content, and in today's video, I'm going to tell you which are the most profitable dungeons to run to make gold in Legion. So, the quickest one that you should run is obviously Move of Soul. With my Warlock, I managed to complete it in around 4 minutes with an average earning of gold of 200 per run. Due to the fact that we can reset an instance 10 times per hour, this makes Mavos Soul profitable for 2000 golds per hour. But to how quick actually this is, will probably be done in around 20 minutes, especially if you're playing with a class with better mobility like Demon Hunter, Monks or a Hunter. Another dungeon that I suggest you to run is Eye of the Storm. This one is more profitable in terms of gold and is also very quick to complete because you can use amount throughout the entirety of the instance. The estimate gold per run is around 250 gold without counting trash mobs. So Ivajara will probably be even more profitable due to the high amount of trash mobs that are present in the dungeon compared to Mobile Soul. Two other dungeons that I suggest are Darker Ticket and Black Crook Hold. The reason why is uh, firstly, Dark Heart is similar to Aiva Jara, you can mount for most time in the dungeon, and Black Crook Cold does not have much RP involvement as, uh, for example, Solvaro. Also, both of these two dungeons are very close to the Emerald Nightmare Raid, one of the easiest and quicker raids to run to make gold uh, in Legion content. Another raid that is easy to run and to complete uh, even in Mythic uh, is Nighthold. It also gives you a considerable amount of gold. Trial of Valor could be also one, but having just three bosses, uh, even if this this quick is not very much profitable. And uh, Tombo Sargeras and Antorus have some problems to solo it at the moment. In Tombo Sargeras, obviously, we have the Kilgenry encounter, which is still not soloable at all. And on Antorus, we have Eonar. So, unless you don't have completed the quest that make you skip up back to Imonar, you will have another time uh, completing Antorus. And maybe Tomb of Sargeras can be more profitable compared to that one. Even if I say Tomb is a bit harder compared to Antorus, especially on normal and heroic difficulties, you should have no problem to complete it as a solo player with our current gear. And with this, we finish our overview of which are the most profitable dungeon and raids to run to make gold with the new Legacy Loot in Legion. Obviously, you will not become extremely rich, you will not earn a Brutus Arc by just farming Legion dungeons. It sure is a nice way to earn a bit more of gold and invest a little bit more on the action house. Surely, I will farm some Legion dungeons. There are piece of trust mob that I still need, maybe I will try to run right tool because I missed the green infernal one from Dundan. Also as everyone is on a look down nowadays, maybe we invest so much time as we can move the world at the moment to not stress us too much with the situation around the world. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, if you want to see more Warcraft related content, consider subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching, this is Murta, I hope to see you soon in the next video, bye bye.